I'm not a scientist. I'm not an academic. I'm just an ordinary guy from England, and I'm fortunate enough to wear an extraordinary piece of technology. Uh, I had an accident around about 2006, which led to me giving up my, my right arm, and very quickly went from being someone who was fit, active, strong. Um, I turned very, very quickly into a, a physical and, and mental wreck. Uh, game over, or so I thought. Then about a year ago, I got a phone call from a company in England called RSL Steeper. Uh, they asked me if I'd trial their latest prosthetic hand, the B Bionic V3. Um, I've been wearing it for about a year now, and the effect it's had on, on my life is, is extraordinary. So here's my hand. And this is a little bit of what it does. It's a, a myoelectric hand. We have a, a socket here with a sensor on the outside and a sensor on the inside of my arm. If I make a motion as if I'm revving a motorcycle, the muscle on the outside of my arm will activate. It sends a signal down to the hand, and the hand opens. Likewise, if I make like I'm squeezing a tennis ball, the hand will close. And as you can see, it's just your basic prosthetic. Where this differs is I give it a second signal at the top of the open. And when I close now, it changes grip. I can also move the thumb across and I get a, another grip. And again, I give it a second open signal and I get a further grip. I can also give it a co-contraction. And I'll put this near the microphone. You hear the little beep? Okay, that's telling me that the hand is now deactivated, the wrist is working. So again, I give it a closed signal, and spins one way. I give it an open signal, it goes the other way. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the easy bit. And then we go all the way around. <laughs> um, that puts four inches on my height, because I can walk down any street in any city, just about anywhere in the world, and know that no one else can do that. <laughs> I mean, you'll all be familiar with the, uh, the Paralympics last year and some of the amazing athletes that took part. But I'd like to mention a few ordinary people who I believe are equally as amazing. I'll start with a guy called Celso Macarenas. He's a double arm amputee from Brazil. He uses two prosthetic limbs, and he's a professional artist. There's a chap called Tom Meathway from back home in the UK. He recently took part in the Paris-Dakar rally, racing across the Sahara Desert. He's a triple amputee. And then just down the road there in Staten Island, you've got Brendan Morocco. The guy lost all four limbs in Iraq. He's since gone on to continue his life as the world's first double arm transplant patient. These are ordinary people who do extraordinary things. Now, these people and many more show that every day that to lose a limb is not necessarily a life that's over. It's more the start of a new and slightly different life. Me, single limb amputee, a flesh wound. And yet here I am in New York City talking to you, the scientists, innovators, forward thinkers, some of the most extraordinary people on the planet. I find that cool. <laughs> now, people with missing limbs, whether it's through injury or through birth, we all seem to share one common trait, and that's our refusal to give up. And unless Dimitri sneaked one of his avatars in here, we share something with you. We're all human. We're not cripples. We're not useless. We're not freaks. We're slightly different but we're humans, just ordinary people who now live extraordinary lives. So what does the future hold? Well, Steeper, who made this, they're currently working on the next generation of bionic hands for the next generation of human beings, for children. However, advancing and improving state-of-the-art prosthetics is going to take a lot of gifted people 
and a lot of financial investment. And in today's uncertain world, that's not going to be easy. Investment in research and development, and particularly in mass production, is vital. Consider this, if you will. Right now, today, there are over 20 million amputees around the world with no access to any sort of prosthetic limbs. And to put that into perspective, that's the entire population of Florida. So a lot of people. But people like you can make a difference. You, extraordinary human beings. You're in a position to help us, the ordinary people. You can give us the opportunity to stand on our own two feet, literally.